My name is Gian, and I live in Sarasota, Florida. And this is my story on how I came to know, learn, and understand, still learning though, the Abraham teachings. It all started when I had a desire to win the lottery. I won the lottery when I was 19 years old and living in New Jersey. I'm now 22 years old and living in Sarasota, Florida. I first learned about the law of attraction when I was 18 and a half years old through The Secret. I saw it on the news and immediately went online and ordered the book and DVD. I got familiarized with it and started to apply it in my life. It definitely changed my perspective on life. When I was 19 years old, things in my home life were going extremely bad. I come from a very critical and judgmental family. I remember one day saying to myself, I'm going to find a way to leave and never look back. I came across the Abraham teachings, and I was astonished at how Abraham taught the law of attraction in detail. I came to have a broader understanding of the law of attraction through the Abraham teachings. The things I felt were left out Abraham explained in detail. That's when my life started to really change. I still was yearning to leave my home, but didn't have the financial means to do it. I started buying Mega Millions tickets, but to no avail. I bought Mega Millions tickets for about five months and tried to align with it, but nothing happened. I remember thinking to myself that it would be easier if I played the New Jersey Pick 6 Lotto, since not so many people were gunning for the same jackpot, since it's only a one-state lottery and not a 12-state lottery like Mega Millions. So I started buying Pick 6 tickets every week, but to no avail. When I started buying Pick 6 Lotto tickets, I had a dream where I was handed a ticket that had the word winner printed on it. I woke up and had this indescribable determination to win. I said to myself, I'm going to win the jackpot. I then started to get serious about winning and about learning all I can of the law of attraction through the Abraham teachings. I started to come to a much bigger understanding of the law of attraction, about energy and about vibrations because of Abe. I made a list of everything I thought of myself, of money, and of the lottery. I came to realize that I didn't have much self-worth and self-love. My first priority was to love and accept myself, and to feel deserving of everything this physical experience had to offer. I then made a vision board and put financial abundance and wealth affirmations on there. I repeated them every day and every chance I got. Since I didn't do much, and I was home a lot, it was easy for me to get in tune and implant the affirmations pretty quickly. I then made a vision board from printed pictures of the internet, taped them on a flat piece of cardboard box, and hammered it to my wall where I can see it and feel appreciation for those things in the now, as if they were already mine. I began to meditate every day and go on a rampage of appreciation, as Abraham would say. I would meditate lotus style and raise my vibration. Then when I felt my vibration soar, I'd start thanking the universe for everything I had. This was a daily practice up until I won the jackpot. It got to the point where I felt gratitude in my walking life, for every hair in my body. It was amazing how I actually felt gratitude for every little thing in my life. At this point, my self-confidence, my appreciation, and my self-love have soared to unbelievable heights. I remember feeling like, I was on top of the world. I felt so good even for the negative people that were in my life at that time. It just didn't seem to affect me anymore. I started making more money through the job I had at the time, and everything seemed to be going well. At this point, I still had the burning desire to win millions of dollars, and never stop playing the lottery twice a week, even though I felt content where I was. I kept saying, feeling, and believing the affirmations. I kept visualizing and feeling appreciation for the things I had with my vision board, and I continued to meditate and go on rampages of appreciation all up to the day I won the jackpot. I never stopped doing these things throughout this process. I held in my head and in my vibration so profoundly that vision, that feeling, that satisfaction, that desire and that belief that the jackpot was mine. One thing that Abraham said that finally hit me when I won was that you should live more in the dream than in your reality. That's exactly what I was doing. I felt so good because I was constantly living in my dream than in my current reality. I was visualizing and feeling like I was living my dream life more than I was actually living my current life. 
still appreciating all that I had and still yearning and burning for that jackpot win. The month that I won the jackpot, I put myself and my vibration in a place of full expectation and belief that I was going to win. By that time, it was just a fact to me. I went, I remember, on a Monday to go buy 20 lines of pick six lottery tickets, which cost me $20. As always, I put it in my back pocket, lit up a cigarette, and walked home. One thing that I want to point out is that I never ever looked at the numbers. After a while, the numbers weren't important. I began to look at the ticket as if it was just a ticket. Odds, numbers, and probability were not in my awareness. I bought the tickets and rarely looked at the numbers. Anyways, that day, I got home and put the tickets inside my shoebox. The next day, I woke up and decided to go online and check the previous night's drawing. And to my amazement, one of my 20 lines won the jackpot for $2 million. I remember feeling a feeling I cannot describe. I was thrilled. I remember just getting up and walking around and did not know what to do with myself. I had no relationship with my mother, whom I lived with, or with any of my other family members. A week later, I took a cab to the lottery headquarters and validated my ticket. The lottery officials were sort of surprised to see this rugged 19-year-old validating a $2 million ticket alone. But I signed all the paperwork and I was done. I won $2 million, which left me with $1 million after taking the lump sum, which then left me with 850 100000 after federal taxes. I went back home and waited a month to move out not before I somewhat reconciled things with my mother. I own a beautiful condo here in Sarasota, and I own a successful business with a few partners here as well. Thanks to some wise investments, I currently have much more than what I won. I'm currently going to college part-time and will get my bachelor's in psychology next June. Currently, the Abraham materials that I have included, Ask and It Is Given, Money and the Law of Attraction, The Astonishing Power of Emotions, the Complete Law of Attraction in Action series, Law of Attraction, the Basics of the Teachings of Abraham, and I have favorited every single video of Abraham on YouTube. Abraham Hicks changed my life forever. I don't know where I would be if I didn't pick up Ask and It Is Given. For that, I'm grateful and hold Abraham, Esther, and Jerry Hicks close to my heart. I'm glad I found this form and hope to learn and expand with you all. May peace and abundance be with you all.